Disease X is exactly what its name suggests, an unknown pathogen lurking around with the potential of causing the next deadly epidemic. This unidentified pathogen lurking out there with the potential to cause a future epidemic and has been given the nickname Disease X. Disease X has come under the spotlight of late as a UK health expert shared her fears about new viruses out there setting off another pandemic deadlier than COVID-19. Kate Bingham, who chaired the UK's vaccine task force from May to December 2020, caused a significant reaction when she stated that a new virus has the potential to become highly dangerous to humans with the possibility of reaching the same level of deadliness as the devastating Spanish flu of 1919-1920, which claimed the lives of over 50 million people worldwide. What exactly is Disease X and why is it a source of such alarm and concern? Disease X, as its name suggests, is an unknown pathogen. It can be a virus, a bacterium or fungus without any known treatments. The World Health Organization website explained Disease X thus Disease X represents the knowledge that a serious international epidemic could be caused by a pathogen currently unknown to cause human disease. Richard Hachette of the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations warned, it might sound like science fiction, but disease X is something we must prepare for. So what causes disease X? Disease X is believed to be the result of an unknown pathogen, often referred to as pathogen X. Such a pathogen is expected to be a zoonosis, most likely an RNA virus emerging from an area where the right mix of risk factors will help it to transmit at a sustained level. Who coined the term Disease X and when did they do so? In 2018, WHO introduced Disease X a year before the COVID-19 outbreak. WHO annually lists priority diseases with pandemic potential or inadequate countermeasures including COVID-19, Ebola, Lassa fever, MERS, Nipah and Zika reflecting their severe public health threat. Disease X is also listed among these high priorities diseases emphasizing their significance for research and development. The concern within the scientific community is that unexpected disease X outbreaks could catch the medical world off guard. In May this year, at a World Health Assembly meeting in Geneva, Dr. Tedros Adnam Ghebreyesus, the WHO Director General issued a warning regarding this outbreak. Tedros warned that another epidemic can come at any time which can spread a terrible disease and also kill a large number of people. The threat of another variant emerging that causes new surges of disease and death remains. And the threat of another pathogen emerging with even deadlier potential remains. And pandemics are from the only are far from the only threat we face. In a world of overlapping and converging crisis, an effective architecture for health emergency preparedness and response must address emergencies of all kinds. When the next pandemic comes knocking, and it will, we must be ready to answer decisively, collectively, and equitably. The potential impact of Disease X is deeply unsettling as outlined by Kate Bingham, co-author of The Next Killer, How to Stop the Next Pandemic Before It Starts, along with Tim Hames, a former journalist and political advisor. Bingham's warning is stark, Disease X could prove far more perilous than COVID-19 with the potential to claim a staggering 20 times more lives than the virus that has already taken over 2.5 million worldwide. She paints a haunting picture, urging us to imagine disease X as contagious as measles but as deadly as Ebola. What makes this scenario even more disconcerting is that this 
Enigmatic pathogen is silently replicating somewhere in the world and sooner or later individuals will start falling ill. Bingham's concerns are founded on the historical deadliness of diseases like Ebola, bird flu and MERS, which exhibited alarmingly high mortality rates. She posits that the next pandemic may prove far more challenging to control than COVID-19, suggesting that we may have experienced relative ease with the current pandemic. Drawing parallels to the catastrophic 1918-19 flu pandemic, which claimed at least 50 million lives worldwide, Bingham cautions that today we could face a similarly devastating death toll from one of the many existing viruses. Now, what strategies can be employed to effectively counter the threats posed by disease X? Bingham emphasized the necessity of global readiness for large-scale vaccination campaigns requiring the swift delivery of doses. Scientists stress the importance of research and the development of countermeasures to promptly curb potential epidemics. The World Health Organization is actively engaged in research and development efforts, including vaccines, tests and treatments for the priority pathogens on their list that have the potential to trigger outbreaks or pandemics. Kate Bingham attributed the uptick in outbreaks to urbanizations, increasing population density, heightened global connectivity through globalization and the ongoing destruction of vast natural habitats, all contributing to the rise in pandemics. A Times Online report. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow The Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.